Apple finds Max Mista in the original blonde one's abode a most comfortable hideout. Except it puts you in close proximity with Lulu. Max Mista is suggesting that the original blonde one cannot be trusted? No, it's not Lulu that I'm worried about. Spinelli, you have to swear to me that you're not going to tell Lulu anything that I told you. You no know, doubt are referring to the close encounter of the unthinkable kind with Fair Lulu's faithless boyfriend? Yes. And that's all it was, a close encounter, because even though Johnny and I almost had sex, we decided that it wasn't a good idea, and I would not have even mentioned it, but I thought you were going to leave the country. I was concerned that you would give in to a lamentable impulse to know John's car in the biblical sense if I were not there to prevent her. Now you are not leaving, and Johnny and I are definitely not going to hook up with each other, so the less you think about it, the better. In fact, you should not think about it at all, because if you slip up and say something to Lulu, it's only going to hurt her. I have to go. Why would Lulu be upset, and who are you talking to about it? Oh, it was Spinelli, and oh, he gets paranoid. He's cooped up in our apartment, hiding from the FBI. His imagination's running wild. He just gets jealous. There's nothing to be jealous of. That's what I was saying. He's upset that we're going on another date. You know I don't want to do this. Johnny, we have front row seats to the Ma ha Chang fashion show. You're going to love it. I doubt it. Well, it's too bad, because the press will be all over it, and we need to be seen. Come on, we're going to have Sienna on one side and Scarlett on the other. My life is too short to waste it for a few hours in some fashion show. Just admit that you don't want to go because you're having an extremely hard time keeping your hands off me. <laughs> hey, Lulu, it's me. We got a flat tire. So hopefully by the time you get this message, we'll be on our way to Manhattan. And you know that this is my idea of hell. So when I'm done, I'm going to call you and hopefully you'll say something to cheer me up and we'll do something fun tonight. Okay. Don't you know anything about lying? Too much. You shouldn't try so hard. The more you try to convince Lulu how much you hate this, the more she's going to know you're covering something. Or you could just take out an ad, really big one, like on a blimp. Okay, Maxie, then you tell me what's really going on here. <laughs> you don't hate this. I think you actually like hanging out with me. Yeah, sure, the fashion shows are not really your scene, but... You like going out with me? And why wouldn't you? I spent way too much time on my hair, makeup, and general overall hotness for you to find me anything less than feeling. So you spend way too much time with Spinelli. Hey, don't criticize Spinelli. He's my essential person. Wait, what exactly does that mean? It means that unlike you and Lulu, Spinelli and I don't lie to each other. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> and he knows I look at your butt. Hello, I'm human. You're cute. There's nothing wrong with it. Although I'm sure Lulu wouldn't see it that way. Right, can we not tell Lulu that you're checking out my ass, please? See, what you don't get is, um, hiding the truth is what gets you in trouble. Every time. Trust me, I know. If you could just admit that you think I'm pretty, and sometimes you stare at my ass too, then you wouldn't have all those secret feelings about how you wish we had hooked up in the garage. We are not having this conversation. Hey. We both agreed it was smart not to have sex. Doesn't mean we didn't want to. Where is our driver? Maybe while he's in that store, he can get us another bottle of champagne. Oh, you. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, look who's talking, mister. I think we should drink it right from the bottle. I had to find some way to get through that nightmare. Oh, come on. You had a fantastic time. No, no. And no. Admitted, Johnny, it was not as bad as you thought it would be. Uh, okay, it was fascinating, but the kind of way it's fascinating when you go to the zoo and you're looking at the animals in the cages. The most beautiful animals in the world? Those models? Come on. Yeah, not my type. What is your type? Some sort of celebrity? Come on, we have to come up with something about today that you really <laughs> like, something you appreciated. And you have to be honest, tell the truth. Gwyneth. Great legs. Scarlet. Great lips. Sienna. Great cleavage. Now that's what I'm talking hey, about. Hey, Makai, what do you expect? That's my point. I told Lulu I'd call her. Yeah, you, you did. Hey, but first, what did you like about me today? 
You don't want to do this. Yes, I do. Okay, I'll start. Um, of course, I, I notice your ass, and you're really hot. Um, now it's your turn. <laughs> you're beautiful, Maxie, okay? But that is not why I want to kiss you. Really? Why? Because you're you. If I have another cup of this coffee, I might never sleep again. Oh, my God, Johnny, you have lip gloss on your collar. Are you serious? Yeah. Lalu's number 19. I would recognize it anywhere. Why does Johnny have lipstick on his collar? 